Pass Cyber. Hello, welcome to Hard Cyber Tutorials. In this episode, we are coming to exploit port 8180, which is Apache port or Apache Tomcat. Uh, in our previous video, we scanned the victim's computer, then we found out that there were a lot of services running on it. Uh, let's go back to our scan. So yes, yeah, so we found out that various services were running on their victim's computer. So this in this episode, we are interested in exploiting port 8180, which is HTTP, that's the service, and the uh, and the version is Apache Tomcat. So um, we, we, we will use our meta exploit to find out if we will have this uh, exploit in the database of the meta exploit. But we also need to find out the version of the Tomcat which is running on the victim's computer or server. So let's connect to the uh, server and find out the Apache or Tomcat service, which is uh, the version which is running on the server. Yes, so connecting to the server, we found out that the Apache Tomcat is 5.5. If you can see it here, this is the version, which is 5.5. So we do use our meta exploit to search the database if we can find this exploit in in it so um let's go and run our msf console to give us our meta exploit console yes so um our our meta exploit uh has finally loaded so let's search let's search for the apache tom Tomcat 5.5. Voila. So as you can see, we have the this uh, exploit available in the meta exploit uh, database. So um, so there are various exploits there, but we are interested in using the uh, ID one, which is the uh, Tomcat manager upload. Yes. So that's what we will be interested in. So. Um, to use this is either we copy we use uh, the command uh, use and we copy this whole thing or we can use the ID which is one so let's use the ID which is use one and the one stands for this one all of this so as I said it's either you copy all this then you use the you use the command use and you replace with this one or if you want to do shortcut which means that you use the use and one the id one so in our case we are using use one yes so you, as you can see it has automatically what uh fixed the exploit uh part for us using the id one so we say no payload configured defaulting to java meta metaprater reverse tcp yes so we are good for this one this is good for us to get a reverse shell so we are good to go well so um um let's see the options available for us so that we'll be able to set options okay so when you see the uh model options um we can see we have the http password so no password so no required no HTTP username no closes no is is there is no requirement for these three so we also have the R host which is our victim's computer which is uh so requirement is yes and also we will use the R port which is the port available that the port that we want to exploit in this case our default is eighty but from when you check when you check the um, our scan, you can see that it is what 8180. So we need to change, we need to change this port to 8180. Yes, 8180. 8180. So we need to uh, put in those values. So we also can use the um search for default password for 
Apache Tomcat. Um, So Apache Tomcat default, default credentials. Yes, so default credentials is that Apache Tomcat default passwords in this GitHub. Yes, so um Yes, so these are the default credentials available for Apache Tomcat. So, which means that um, even though even though uh, the HTTP password is not required and the HTTP username is not required, um, we still need to put in these uh, defaulting. So we can choose any of these, any of these to to use it as um, username and password. So let's go and start setting up our values. So set, um, we know that the HT, HTTP, HTTP password. So let's use the, um, let's see the one that we want to use. Okay, so, okay, so Let's select the Tomcat, Tomcat here. Tomcat, Tomcat. So, um, so the HTTP password, let's use Tomcat. So we've set it to Tomcat. And also let's set the, um, the username, the HTTP user, HTTP user name also to tomcat wow so now let's also see if our values are being placed correctly so options well so you can see the current settings that we have the http password is tomcat http username is also tomcat so now we also need to put in our our hosts and the port we need to also set the port which is 8180 so we need to change this one so set our port to 8180 and also let's set the our host to our which is um is this IP so let's set our our host to the victim's IP good so um now let's run our options and see if our values are correctly placed yes so as you can see we have the tomcat tomcat we have the r host set this is the the http password http username is also set our hard host r host is set our r port is set um yes so we will leave the rest as as their default values then already our local host is also set and our our local host our local port is also set to 4444 as default so now we will try to exploit the system by using the command run good so as you can see now we have a shell we have a shell so we can run who am i okay so let's see system info sys info okay so as you can see uh we've gotten the um, information on our target machine it's a metasploitable machine and the os that is running is linus 2.6.24 
dash 16 dash server so yes so now we have information on this victim we can we can check the directory well so we we know that these are these are the directories on the compromise server so now you can see we are in the server now and if you want to do anything to the server if you want to exfiltrate anything now we have we have complete access to this server